So I'm finally getting round to checking the ignition timing sensor where you can get a build up of um, metal splints on the sensor itself, which can cause stalling. Um, I've not actually had the stalling issue since I installed the fuel filter and cleaned out the fuel system. Um, but I'm going to have a little look anyway, just so I can um, rule that one out. And um, first I'm going to disconnect the battery. Then I'm going to remove the wiring plate here, uh, remove the alternator cover, and then we'll see what we've got. So the battery is disconnected. So I've just removed the bolts from the connector cover, um, and these can be quite difficult to get out. So I'd advise soaking them with penetration oil. And again, the plate can be quite tricky to remove. So you have to apply quite a lot of pressure and pull it forwards, and then that would just unclip. And you can see here where the little grooves are that the wiring connection here slots into. Okay, now using a multimeter set to ohms, I'm gonna try and check the resistance here. Uh, between the terminals on the sensor side of the connector, which will be this one. You can see where it enters into the uh, alternator there. Now I'm going to unscrew the alternator cover bolts in a crisscross fashion and try and slacken them more evenly and then I'll remove the cover and I might have to catch a bit of oil residue that comes out as I take that off. Slightly annoying, there's a bolt behind here and I'm trying to work out how to take this little mount off. Um, and I think I'm going to have to unscrew this frame bolt here and the crash bar bolt behind here to loosen this enough to then remove that bolt in the alternator cover. Okay, I've removed that frame bolt and now this smooth enough for me to get to this bolt here to get that out. These are all nice and loose now so I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of them. Should I have drained the oil first? Uh, hmm. It does say to drain the oil for CS models, but this isn't a CS model, so I'm hoping it's all okay. I'll just wait a little bit longer and um, see how much more comes out. I've been a bit of a wally and only disconnected this one here, where I should have disconnected this other one inside because that's stopping me from removing the cover. So I'm going to take off this earth lead again and then see if I can just get my fingers in there to unclip that. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the bike and I've been a bit naughty because I've let a lot of dirt get in. So I'm going to make sure I give that a very good clean, hoof that all up, use a cotton bud around all the edges here before I put the cover back on. And if we actually look at the ignition time sensor itself, mine actually looks pretty good. Um, and if I compare it to the picture on the Crossroads website where you can see all the metal splinters around this area, Mine looks really clear, so I'm really pleased with that. So I can rule out uh, that this is causing this stalling issue. So hopefully that is fixed with the fuel filter. Um, so now I've just got to wait for a new gasket to arrive, uh, which I'll order tonight, so that might take a few more days um, before I can reinstall the cover. Uh, and one last thing, I've just noticed in the manual that it says to look out for a washer that's located on the starter idle gear shaft, which is this here. Um, and when I first looked, I thought, oh, like, it's there, there's nothing to worry about. But that is a separate part. It's like a bush that goes in between the washer and the cog. And then when I looked in here, I found it. There it is. Um, it's fallen into the outer casing. So it's always worth making sure you know where that is uh, before you put it back together and make sure that's in the right place.